All right, let's go ahead and have that other discussion about that other quest that we picked up information for. That being the one that's actually directly related to the colony we're currently standing in, which seems like something important we should probably do. Change the foot and colony move. Chat first, right? I gotta say, I was worried for a minute there. But it seems like the mood and colony moves really changed, don't you think so? For sure. It feels like everyone decided to take on some degree of responsibility. I'm so glad it all worked out. Hold on, I'm getting a message. It's from Colony Moo? I mean, we're there. I don't know why they'd be messaging. They just walk over and talk. Hey, sorry to bother you. Uh, where are you right now? Ah, wait, don't go. Stop it. Someone help. What's going on? Hey, Spock, I lost them. What was that all about? That was Tussie's voice. It sounds like something's wrong. Let's go and check it out. I mean, we're literally at Colony. The future I want to spin. Good. Let's do it. Let's let's go. Let's awkwardly get up from the table and then walk 30 feet this direction and figure out what's going on. Maybe a little bit more than 30 feet. Okay, I'll give you that. What is going on, though? What? Has that always... No, that's always been there. No, yeah, nothing's new or different or weird around here. Everything actually looks really chill. What's the issue, then, Tus Tussor? Oh, hello. What's going on, everyone? That's what we wanted to ask you. By the sound of that message you sent, we thought you might need urgent assistance or something. Oh, that. Well, we don't need help, but I feel you might have misunderstood. Actually, we... Oh, <laughs> what the? Yeah, no, big, big, big. Where did this fella come from? Ah, I'm sorry. This chunker is quite the rascal, though I think it's just trying to be playful. Ah, you found it! What a relief! Is anyone going to clue us in? So, the truth is, we were talking about trying to raise Armus. Armu milk is so tasty, and there's so, uh, so many of them roaming around here anyway. Well, that was our reasoning, but they're actually quite a handful. They keep trying to run away. This one went missing a short while ago, which is why I called you in a panic. R right. So sorry to alarm you. Yeah, no, it sounded like something absolutely awful was going on. Phew, I'm so glad it wasn't serious. Yeah, no, I mean, I am too. This is the last one. Thank you, Goo. You are a lifesaver. Even Goo Goo is helping you. It come wandering in flower patch. They're big trouble if it eat flowers and Goo Goo painstakingly grow. We have to come up with something so we don't have to chase them every day. Why not use fences to build a pen? They maybe feel more calm if feel safe, or so Goo Goo heard. Ah, of course, a pen! You think Nico will give us the materials? I think so. Let's ask Tallow for the rest uh, to help us too. This is remarkable. This is absolutely incredible. They call us in a panic. I was sure that they were about to be harvested by a console and we get here and it's just Armus. Which, <laughs> where, yeah, where did you learn about Armus? Goo Goo think, just read the book in somewhere. Though, not sure of any more details than that. Is there a textbook or something about them? If it doesn't ring a bell to you, Uni, then it probably isn't in any Kavesi text. Okay, so they want us to go to the city now and see whether or not we can find some information about raising Armus. We're back in the city looking for Armu psychology and Ardune psychology, but also, uh, what do you think about young Julieta has been up to lately? I've been seeing her around town a lot now that you mention it. She's probably been meeting up with her lover, I'd say. Interesting, Julieta's attitude. Okay, we already had the Romero and Julieta quests but I suppose it's possible there's going to be another chapter to it that we've just stumbled upon. Also, the psychology, really? Psychology of the Armu and the Ardun. We're really delving into it, aren't we here? Well, well, how are you doing? Well, well, offer welcome. Pleased to make selves at home in Shop of Well, well. I knew that this place sold books, but this is... There is thing friend want to know? Well, well, love seeing curiosity in customers. But sea of knowledge is deep and vast. Friends need to help well, well to find. If you could, that would be great. We're looking for books about raising Armus. Oh, well, we'll have perfect intro textbook for that. It'd have two volumes full of infos. Oh, my wings, you actually have something. Shop of Well Well, full of treasure from all places and all times. Of course, Well Well have something, many somethings, in fact. Aww. 
Decisions, decisions. Yep, there you go. I wonder if these are written by the guy that gives you an armu in Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Comment down below if you also killed it. Not really thinking it would matter, but then the guy's like, well, see, you killed it. That's unfortunate. And then that's just it. And then it's just over. <laughs> Because I did that. Please come shop with Well Well again. Absolutely, I will, Well Well. Should we look for the second part of that conversation about Juliet? You know what? No, we'll do it next time. These two look like they're about to like, go at it. You know what I mean? Or at least that one looks like he's ready to. That one kind of looks like he just wants to eat. No, no, yeah. They're definitely getting ready to like spur off. Because there's only two male and two female. And that's not going to work out for these guys. You know, they like a two to one ratio. So someone's got to go in this situation. I'm back. I brought some textbooks. Yeah, I did find a couple, actually. Surprisingly. Wow. I can't believe you actually found a book on Armus. I think it might be a bit difficult to follow, though. Hmm. Let's take a look. Whoa. There's a lot of pictures in here. Oh, my socks and sparks, I love it. They're so pretty and cute. Um, this bit says something about adults and also children. What does that mean? Adults and children are, how should I explain this? I think big ones are adults and small ones are children, Lotus. Oh, you're right. There's labels in the pictures. Guess you won't need to explain after all. Yeah, but that doesn't really sort of, <laughs> I was disappointed by that. It doesn't really explain the whole thing though, does it? Oh, look, it talks about making a pin, too. Seems like Goo was right. Oh, and here's the part about feeding. It's, it's important what and how much they eat. It's meant to affect the milk's taste, too. Sparks, I forgot to get the Armu fodder. I need to ask Nico for some pronto. How much do you need? Even with all that Nico can spare, we only have about half of what the book recommends. Well, then how about I gather the rest? Or you could just feed them a little less. No, no, lands. Apparently, they, they speak English. This one really has it out for me, I guess. All right, all right, come off it. If we help, will you leave me alone? Would you really think so much? Should we give any food we can find to you then, Tassor? Yes, please. Thank you ever so much. I would be shocked if we didn't already have the type of food that they want to eat. <laughs> Aren't they kind, little buddy? Yeah, no, I think he wants to eat lands. I hope everyone's getting along. What good little dudes. Looks like they've been waiting ages for some what food. Are we giving them? Okay, yeah, we have several options to choose from here. I mean, we could just give them a bunch of Armu barley. Because, I mean, their name is even in the dish. But also, we do have some frangible yams. Yeah, we'll give them a few of those yams, and then we'll just go back and finish things off with the Armu barley. Because, uh... That ought to get the job done. Nice 10%. Don't have to use any of the expensive stuff. There, it's in their name! It's like finding a cat and be like, mm, do I give them the fungible yams or the cat food? You know what I'm saying? Thank you so much. This is going to fill all their little bellies right up. Now there's just one last challenge for us. One last challenge. We have to pick a big Armu and a big Ardun and put them together. Apparently, the day after it rains, a new little one will be born. It's really important that they're compatible, it says. So I'm trying hard to work out which ones to go with. Compatible, you say? Just like how two people can be compatible. Maybe you should pick based on personality then. Personality, huh? Hmm. Which pairing should we choose? Okay, so you think opposites attract, but also sometimes not. An easygoing Ardun with a timid Armu is probably a good combination. Because the easygoing one's just going to be like, yeah, man, what's up, bro? And the timid one's going to be like, oh, you're pretty chill. I like that. But then also, what if you got the rascally Ardun and the impulsive Ardun? That would be a good pairing. And then the easygoing Ardun and the impulsive Ardun, Armu? Probably not a good call. Rascally and timid is probably not the way to go. They're not going to like each other. Easygoing and impulsive? Maybe. Rascally and impulsive, probably. Easygoing and timid, though, is the perfect combination. How about putting the easygoing Ardun with the shy Armu? I think the carefree nature of the Ardun is less likely to scare the Armu. Yes, it's important they both feel calm. In that case, I guess we'll go with the pairing you suggested. Yeah, I don't see any reason to change it. Thank you so much. Then I think we found our pairing. Now we just have to wait for the rain, right? Come to think of it, I think Goo mentioned something once that could help. Apparently, there's a powerful Nopon out there who can summon rain clouds. Maybe we could turn to that Nopon if we really need to, then. Let's circle back when it's rained. 
Okay, we'll be waiting. Unfortunately, I know where that Nopon is. This is not where I expected them to be. This is where the quest is telling me to go next, but that is... That is odd. Because the one that I know of is actually in the Atia region, located conveniently right next door to the colony. Right, right, right around in the... Uh, right, right, like right up here. With that said, if the game wants me to go over here, then I guess I will go over here and uh, we'll see what awaits us. Maybe after the potato quest, the Nopon moved himself over here for whatever reason and is hanging out in this area. I mean, that doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know why he would do that, but sure, and Pita Pita. Pita Pata. Pita Pata. I don't think Pita Pita Pata. I I get it. Petapata can make rain magically appear in exchange for money. Ten grand! I mean, I was just complaining earlier that we have too much money and nothing to do with it, but that's fine. Yeah, make it rain. I don't care. He's doing... Is this a song? Is this a dance? Is this some sort of... Some sort of ritual oh, that's happening? Give me a break. Oh, there Our we go. Will get all wet. Uni, this is exactly what we wanted to have happen! I liked in the DLC that you could... Whenever you fast travel, you could pick both the weather and the time, you know? I think I said those in the wrong order. You can pick the time and the weather, because that's the thing that differentiates it. No fucking way, there's more of them. I don't know if this is how breeding works, unless something about the rain is what really, you know, spurs them on, if you will. Yep, four more to be exact. Looks like even more of them made little ones than just the pair we chose. We were just trying to think of what names to give them. Nico. And again, that's me, was against. I don't think we should give them names. It'll be harder to say goodbye if we do. That's exactly why we should name them. They're all living things just like us. I want to think of them for coming into the world and call them by their own names. Right, they're living things just like us. You're right. We have to face the facts. That's Bill and Chuck over there. Oh no. Drop Wart and Droppy Dun. Hickory. <laughs> Hickey Dun. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to name them all in one go. Please. Especially not with these names. Hold on a sec. I have an idea on the tip of my tongue. Living things, just like us, huh? She's got a point. There's no such thing as a life that just passes by without leaving a single mark. I disagree. Your average insect. Hey, have you ever tasted freshly squeezed milk before? It's so amazingly delicious. Don't tell that one chick on Instagram who got fired up about that model drinking raw milk. She'll, she'll freak out. If you don't drink pasteurized milk, apparently you'll get tuberculosis and kill a baby. Or whatever she was going on about. It was one of the weirdest, like... Instagram TikTok dramas I've ever seen. I would have to guess I most probably have not. No. Did you say squeezed? What's different about it? <laughs> I'm excited for you to try out and see. Hold on, let me get you some. Nico will help too. As in me. Nico, I mean. You don't have to go to all that trouble for us. I think they do, considering we did all this effort. Oh, bless them. Have they ever actually... I think it would be wise to just accept their offer or risk showing bad manners. Anyway, if there's anything else you need help with, we're here for you. Thank you so much for everything you've done for us. It would be amazing if you could keep helping out our new ranch. Our moos and ardunes are being reared on this ranch. Speak to Tussor to help out. Give enough food for them to grow up, pair up the armu and ardune, and wait for the rain for baby time. Keep helping and eventually you might see some rare beasts. Take a load off and get ranching. Well, that's weird. The future I want to spend. There we go. I like that there's this weird game like mechanic now. I'm very happy about this. So we just feed them some more food. Thank you ever so much. I'll make sure they grow up big and healthy. And then what do we... Oh, I mean, some of them just faded from existence. It's currently raining. Some armors have such a voracious ap uh, appetite. They're raising through so much feed, it's crazy. If I don't restock soon, there might not be enough food. What was it they needed again? Okay, so we're right back to doing this again, even though we did just do this. 
I'm kind of curious. It doesn't save the values for these, though. Going through them, it doesn't, like, remember them the next time you come back through. So you kind of have to do this again. I wonder if the fact that it's raining is having some kind of impact on this. I've never seen so much feed in one place. I really appreciate your help. Oh, that's right. My new sweeties have names now. Lotus and Goo were kind enough to help the, think uh, them up for me. Oh, and they're gone. Okay. All I've been doing is feeding them. I haven't actually had to pair any up. My darlings are almost all grown up. And of course, that means I'll need to increase their portion sizes. When do I actually get to breed them? Oh, I see. Each one, like, does less now because of the increased portion size. There we go. So hopefully that means they're all grown up now. Oh, and it's it's it, how time flies indeed. Uh, there's still only the four of them. I don't know what happened to the babies. My nearly growns are now fully grown up. Thanks for everything you've done. Good. Do I get to do I get to do the greeting again? Thank you very much. All my sweeties can now stuff their little bellies nice and full. All that's left now is to select the big Armus and Ardunes one by one and pair them together. The day after it rains, a little one should be born. And the Armus and Ardunes you pair need to be compatible with each other as well, right? Absolutely. I'd like to ask for your advice again if you don't mind. Sure. This one's a little bit more difficult. So we've got Serene and Considerate. That seems like a pretty good choice. Naughty and Gallant. Um... Serene and Gallant, or Naughty and Considerate. I mean, I kind of feel like Serene and Considerate is the only option here. Uh, what do you think about pairing the Considerate Ardune with the Serene Armu? That pairing sure don't lack broad-mindedness. And I'm sure they'd always have a smile on their faces. In that case, I guess we'll go with the pairing you suggested. Sure. Thank you so much. Then I think we found our pairing. Now we just have to wait for rain, right? Perhaps we could ask Pita Pita Pata to summon some rain if we really need to. Let's circle back when it's rained. Okay, we'll be waiting. I mean, yeah, I, I do kind of want to see like what this is going to look like if this is a thing I need to do 14 times. There's a question mark on my map that was not there before. And I don't know exactly where it is. I was just headed back to Pitapata. Oh, it's over here at Pitapata. So, that Pitapata is part of a quest-related event? Is that right? I mean, we're just coming back, or maybe maybe it's saying that Pitapata is the quest-related event. But then again, we're not on a quest right now. This is just like a weird side thing we're doing, raising all these Armus and Ardunes. So I don't actually know what to expect when we get up here. We're gonna find out. Pitapata? What's the situation, Pitapata? Is this just about the... I mean, you want rain? Yeah, yeah that's exactly what I need. Yeah, pay pay 10,000. I guess Pitapata just has a question mark on his head now. And that's all there is to it. Rain, oh rain, Pitapata, again. Rain, snuff in great. Yeah, that's all it was. Okay. And then we're back to the another question mark. This is odd. Why There wasn't a question mark here before. Or when we started doing this? Quest-related event. I guess it considers this a quest to some extent. Tussor, how are you doing? Let's see what we've got. Let's see what we've managed to do. What have we constructed? We've got a lot of little Armu. A new baby Armu was born. And it's so small, yet so clearly an Armu. It's a fascinating phenomenon, isn't it? It's got little funny eyes. And we got some... Now... Where exactly did we get all this sirloin and boiled meat and Ardune horns? Oh look, we can do it again. Yeah, I guess it's gonna be this same thing basically. Thank you ever so much, blah 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 blah. So now we do it again and we give them a bit more food. Oh look, okay, I get it. For each stage, it does save the values because, you know, it does change. Each stage, it, everything counts for a little bit less. That makes sense then why it doesn't save stage to stage, but it does on same stages over a period of time. I get it. So that should be the final stage. Time has flown, they're nearly grown up. Thanks for everything you've done. So now we've got to do the pairing again, I'm pretty sure. Yes, and then go make it rain again. Ooh, a flirty one and a cool one. That's the perfect pairing right there. We 
really nice if Pitapata would move a little bit closer. <laughs> maybe, maybe we could convince him to just come live at the colony. That would be a little bit more convenient. This is becoming a very expensive quest, but we have the resources, so I'm not mad about it. Just throwing out there that this little fella's making an absolute fortune on us, and it wouldn't shock me if he didn't give them this idea to begin with. We're going to find out eventually, like, oh, it was Pitapata's idea for us to start raising our moo. It wouldn't, it wouldn't, wait, what? Oh, it didn't work. Wait, hold on. Yeah, no, I want you to make it rain. What happened there? Did, did something happen? I didn't actually read the dialogue. Rain, oh rain, pitapata again. <sighs> it worked. Does it sometimes not work? <laughs> what did I miss? What, is there a poster over here? That wasn't there before. What does this say? Beware, Armus are known escape artists. <laughs> sure, sure they are. I do like the barriers they've put up that you can just kind of wander through, as if an Armu could not. Uh, right! No, we're back, though. Tell me about the babies. It kind of looks like we've just gotten regular babies. They said if we kept doing this, we'd get some surprises. But it certainly doesn't look that way. Yeah, it, it does look like the lively one. And we've got more dead Armu stuff. Delicious. We're gonna run out of food soon, is the issue. We're kind of burning through my feed supply. And nothing really unique or interesting has happened, and the game promised me that something unique or interesting would happen if I kept up with this. Okay, so we're up to yet another pairing situation. I almost said ceremony, but like it's not a ceremony. It's not like people are putting on, you know, fancy dress, and then someone's playing a very dramatic violin. Well, there's violin in the background. A greedy and an indulgent. It sounds like they'd actually hate each other, but let's do it. I suppose what I want to know is, um, is this infinite? Does this just go on forever? Could I just keep doing this if I wanted to? Or is there some sort of practical, Whoa. maybe not an end? Because I'm assuming you can do it as many times as you want. But is there actually something to be gained from it? Because we get a bit of Ardune meat every time and a bit of Ardune milk. But what am I going to do with that? And, and also, this video's gone on for a while now, hasn't it? I found someone who's posted a list of the pairings you're supposed to do. They've not told me what you get at the end of it, but it's greedy and indulgent, which is what we're doing right now, dainty and adamant, naughty and considerate, gourmet and excitable, and then naughty and brawny. <sighs> so I don't, I don't think we're close to being done with this. Assuming that is like a set list. We're going to run out of food, I'm worried, before we get through all these combinations, though, even though we have a list of the ones we're supposed to do now which is not as straightforward as I would have assumed. I've been noticing lately that my Armus haven't been able to keep their eyes off me. They must be able to recognize me now. As long as I diligently look after them, they'll reward me with delicious milk. I really want to show my darlings just how thankful I am to them. That might mean that we did a good combination. Here we go again. So we did greedy and indulgent, now we need to do dainty and adamant another round done this time we are looking for naughty and considerate again apparently there's a bit of rng in this though and if you don't get what you want i think you have to start over which is depressing to think about because i'm, I'm already running out of ingredients and i'm gonna have to go like farm freaking ardun okay what have we got here we do have naughty we're looking for what was it naughty and considerate put the naughty and the considerate together Weird choice, but okay. What about pairing the considerate Ardun with the naughty Armu? You can bet every day would be a laugh and a half with those two together. They both sound pretty open-minded. I certainly don't mind laughter-filled days. Yeah, I'm gonna be laughing when I pay another ten grand to make it rain. Yeah, no, look, this is uh, this is pretty much gonna be it here. You know, I'm gonna give them everything I've got, and then I'm gonna be out of ingredients. I won't be able to do this one again. We're gonna have to go track down more of these objects. I, do, I don't even know where to start looking, but my how time flies, I think the combination we're looking for now is Gourmet and Excitable. Yep, there we go. Gourmet Armu and Excitable Ardoon. Clearly. <laughs> it's clearly what we need to do. How about putting the Gourmet Armu with the Excitable Ardoon together? They'd make for one gluttonous pairing, that's for sure. Still, you've got to eat well to live well. 
bigger they are, the tastier the milk. So I say, let them eat everything they can fit in their bellies. Yeah, we're, we're pairing off these two, I guess. We're gonna have to go make it rain, and then we're gonna have to go find more food. So we are specifically out of the things that we need for the third round, which are Armu Barley, Dish Philodendron, fr fr fran Frangible Yams, Plumage Peach, Dance Apple, Heart Peach, Accord Acorn, and khaki kernels. So I gotta figure out where to find these things. Massive shout out to the random, who are you? Rel Kesev on Reddit for letting me know that you could buy these here. Here being Agnes Castle, by the way. Just just up here at the castle talking to this little uh, ascendant trader pawn. So fortunately, we have everything we need. I think, is this the final round? Hold on, I, I can't remember what the last pairing was. I, I, I'll know which pairing we're on when we get to it. These are so expensive. And we have to use literally all of them, because they only supply... <laughs> Maybe I should have gone out for heart peaches instead. But at the end of the day, this was the one I recognized from the list. Oh, how time flies indeed. Hopefully we never have to do this again. So we are on... Naughty and Brawny, right? I guess the last one was Gourmet and Excitable. Yeah, so now Naughty and Brawny. And this should be it. The brawny guy has got some serious presence, and it helped make sure the naughty Amu behaves. I like the way he thinks. Oh, okay, we just came back in from a final visit to Pitapata, who's made out with at least a uh, hundred grand. I'm not even joking, ten grand. Sometimes it fails. Uh, we, he's made a lot of money off of us, you know, you have to pay him to do it again. Oh, it's you guys! Hold on now, I swear there's less Amus here compared to the last time we were around. Well, you see, some of my darlings have escaped the farm. Who is currently on the lookout for them? Found! Safe and sound! Nandun followed Anu sent for Gugu. Did Gugu huge favor! Look at the babies! Welcome back home, my darlings! Oh, I was so, so worried you'd gotten yourselves hurt! Thank you so much, Nandun! This brings up far too many questions. Nandun here is the most incredible creature. He can't understand what I'm saying. He's also sparkly. Yeah, I mean, that's defo cool and all. But what I want to know is how he got to be so shiny. Oh yeah, it happened when the rain stopped. He molted and revealed a shiny new layer of... You have to run, Tassor! Some nasty-looking monsters coming your way! Michaela? Sparks! Tassor, take the armors with you! Got it! Come on, my darlings, this way! What are we up against, exactly? Oh! Yeah, that is pretty hideous. Is that an Armu eater? Now, do you listen to me, you big oaf! Colony Moo is not your feeding ground! Gargh! This monster's no joke! N Nandun! You're going to fight alongside her? Oh, look at that. Well, we can breathe fire! Must protect friends, Nandun seemed to say. Haha, <laughs> well said, old man! It's got nowhere to run now. We'll take it down, Tassor! Let's do this, Nandun! Uh, or maybe he's, he's, he's definitely breathing something. Maybe not fire, maybe like acid, I don't know. We'll take it, together! Glad we saw this through. This got kind of epic right at the Always end. Nice oh, no, oh, I'm dead. Like if anyone wouldn't mind helping, that would be very much appreciated, as I'm very dead. Thank you so much. Yay! I had no idea what we picked up off of it. Hopefully something worthwhile, considering how much we've sunk into this quest. Phew! I was scared for my life! Me too. Were you worried about me, boy? Thanks for caring about me. <laughs> it really does feel like you understand what I'm saying. Oh, what's wrong? Maybe Nandun say he won't protect farm together with Tassor. You understand what Nandun said? Tassor more mostly. Feels like Nandun think Tassor great big friend. His friend. Gotta hand it to that golden Ardoon, though. Pretty sure I ain't heard of any Ardoon that can chat to people before. Yeah, he does not like you. Huh? I bet animals don't take to a liking to you usually, huh? Uh, I'm gonna 
bothered with animals, I swear. That was just a one-off event. I guess the trust Nandun has with Tasso must be something really special. He's showing that he really cares about her, I'm sure. Is that right? <laughs> Why are you crying? It's just... I've been so worried for so long. Ever since I started raising them for milk, I've been wondering what they really think about me. So, to see that they've long thought of me as a friend, and a close one at that... There, there, Tussie. No one knows them as well as you do, you know. Of course they know just how much you care for them, don't you worry. Okay. Right. I'm going to work even harder to make sure these guys grow up big and strong so they can help protect us all. And also, you know, you can milk them and eat them. Don't milk this one. I don't think... Wait. Well, and I'm sure there's plenty more things that you can teach me. Right, Nandoon? <laughs> Thank you. I'm needing you even more now than ever. You hear? Okay. Yep, a little bit sketched that we got even more... Sur okay. With Nandun's help, Tussor and the others can now raise Armus on their own. I hope everyone's That's getting it. Along. They don't need us anymore. They're all done. And, and it wasn't even a quest. That just kind of ended. It just kind of trailed off. Okay, well, I guess next time we'll go to the city. <laughs> See what's going on with Romero and Julieta. Until then, thank you folks for watching. God bless you, and I'll see you later. Goodbye!